What's up everyone and welcome to a brand new episode on the channel. Let's get to this here in Zuba with some quests and some extra tiers and crates and stuff. I'm pretty sure we're also going to be able to get this emerald crate, which is really, really good. So what are the quests? Upgrade one item, open four crates and a random quest with Susie. All right, fine. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to upgrade an item and I hope that's going to be the case. Okay, that wasn't an item upgrade. Let's try this again. Nope, not... Uh... That, that, I guess that just won't happen apparently, but we do have quite a lot of chances and you'll see why in just a second Zach coins awesome sure you may be wondering why we have Dona here equipped and there's a very specific reason for that I played some of this sea of flames event in which you have to play the fire characters and we have some cool boxes here So yes, we got an item upgrade and it's jungle shoes as well Which is a really really good one. So that is awesome. I'm pretty sure that counts it has to there's no reason for it not to count uh come on yep it did count of course it did and basically we did all the quests that we can do at the moment and we got the emerald crate yeah buddy now let's claim okay maybe you can get a firm item which would be very very weird but i guess there is a chance after all of getting that so why not hope why not do it you know just saying emerald crate now this is good can we get that's actually very nice, Larry, I have to say. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait to get to 1 million coins. We're so close to 1 million coins. It's incredible. All right, missions time. Yeah, we already checked that out. I can't believe it. Now let's go for the ranked because I bet we have some stuff here. Look at that. Four things to get in the weekly event. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's a little much. That's a lot of stuff right there. It's not like we aren't worthy of this or anything. We definitely are. Because we did it. Let's go. And we still have some tickets here. Look at that. We're already at 3,000. And oh my goodness. That's a lot as well. That's 1,000 right there. Just sitting. Why did, why did we get so many of these? <laughs> Buddy. Okay. I haven't seen that in a long time. Alright. Alright. Cool. Cool. Look at all of these. We can get a crate. That is awesome. I have to admit. Alright. Now what do we do? Um... I guess, I guess this is just it. Let's, uh, actually, no, it's not it. We have some extra stuff to get, like some of these uh, tokens and medals and stuff. Store, daily deals. Show me the daily deals. And, oh, the store is, uh, <laughs> the store is blocked for some reason. I don't know why this kind of happens. Come on, let's try this one more time. Let's go. And we get... That's actually really, really good because the Steve tokens are exactly what we're looking for. Now, if we keep doing this, we're not exactly going to get to 1 million coins, but sacrifices have to be made. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now that that's that, uh, I also want to check this for once again or something. Excuse me. Just kidding. You don't have to. And there's a, uh, whoa. Well, we can use all sorts of tokens. I mean, tickets now. Not just the golden ones, but also the blue ones at the same time. That's cool. At least, uh. At least it's not a waste. All right, now, here's the deal, all right? There's three characters in the game that could go invisible. First off, we have Donna. It's just a little coincidence that she's here. Not exactly, um, it doesn't have to do anything with the Sea of Flames event. So there's Donna, right? There's also Elaine, which is uh, somewhere around here. Where is Elaine? There she is. She can go invisible when uh, getting out of bushes and stuff. You know the deal. And, of course, we have the almighty Larry, because that's where it all began with the invisibility. And where is that guy? There he is. So today we're gonna decide on who exactly is the best character that could go invisible in the game. Because the, the three of them are good. They're all good. We have to check out exactly who's the best. Now level, trophies, items, that won't count. It's more about the ability itself. So let's just begin with Larry because I feel like he's the most iconic. Let's go. Okay, we're loading in. There's a lot of characters here, but you know who I see? The legendary guard, exactly. Tunnel vision, baby. Tunnel vision. There he is. Beautiful. And there's a lot of different characters here. There's two Shellys spamming the same emotes. Okay, maybe not anymore, but you got my point. I, I love that laser eye emote. It's very, very cool. I love meme emotes in general. They're very funny. Now, come here. You know, finding the funny in this game is very, very funny. Indeed. What am I even saying? Come here. So, we are going to get a speed boost if we attack. And we continue to attack. So that's good. And it counts when you're hitting a player or a guard. It doesn't matter. Same thing uh, when it comes to this item. So it's kind of cool. But it's not about the item. It's about the ability. So uh, Larry, he's one of the first characters that ever released in the game. So his uh, invisibility is very, very straightforward. You know what he does? You press a button and then he just goes invisible. That's as far as it gets. Right? With Elaine or Dona, you have to do a lot of different things. 
in order to get your visibility you have to go in the water or you have to exit a bush there's something specific that you have to do but with larry's it's, it's simple you just press a button that's it that's as far as it goes you know very very cool okay come here very nice but when it comes to a lane and uh, Donut, there's a little bit of a difference here, okay? Although Larry is Larry is definitely better and more straightforward, on uh, Donut and Elaine, you see the special abilities, these uh, invisibility abilities, are kind of side things, all right? Elaine can jump on targets, extremely, extremely useful, and Donut could just leap onto targets and bite them, which is very, very useful as well. So the invisibility is kind of just a side thing. It's like a passive ability, you know? It's not the main thing, but with Larry, it is the main thing. It doesn't have much going on apart from that. See? That's, that's the little issue there. The invisibility is better, but it kind of just sacrifices anything else that could have been. Come here. Like, I don't know, damage or something. All right, this is actually getting out of hand. You're gonna die, my friend. It's over for you. I have the high ground. You know, you know what they say. He's gonna be. He's gonna get toasted. It's over for him. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I get why he was so confident. Understandable. Have a nice day. But realistically speaking, what are you gonna do in this situation, though? If you were the Skivvy, what could have you done? Nothing. Exactly nothing. All right, let's use the invisibility. There we go. That didn't work. We're invisible now. Can't see me. Oh, yeah. Keep on looking around because you can't find me. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Larry really is a good invisibility character. But what we do need is Fermon, and that didn't work because he was just too far away from the character. Yeah, that happens. All right, let's use the happy trees for once because it will help. Thank you. Just one HP more. Not the craziest, but it does the job. Let's go. Okay, this is good. This is good because I took, I took you by surprise now. See, fellas? It's nice. Invisibility. That's what you do with it. You take enemies by surprise. You know? The element of surprise. And, oh boy, it's time to win the match. And, uh, I know who that is. That is a Skippy. And I know exactly who that is. Because we've seen him before. Okay. And I know he has muscles as well. I mean, just look at him. He's humongous. But he's just level 15. You can still defeat him. It's fine. Okay, don't be intimidated by that because uh, we all know the giant in front of you is never bigger than the god that's inside of it. You know what they say. Um, you know what they say. It's very, very simple. We may be a giant. But we, we got the god inside of us, you know. Very cool. Come here. What are you doing? You're a coward. And you know it. Alright, fine. Well, I guess we're just gonna wait. We're gonna match his energy. He's a coward. We're a coward. Very simple. Simple, really. It's 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 basic math. I'm gonna place this though. Yep. <laughs> exactly. He just went for a little tackle there. Although he can't really do much. Yeah, this is so obnoxious. I have to say, Skippies are obnoxious in general. That's uh, that's what they are. They are obnoxious. The obnoxious character in Zuko. Oh my God. We got. We don't have uh, the holy sandals there. No, you didn't get Fermo. That was a lot of damage, though. I have to admit. And no, we don't have adrenaline shot, so we gotta be careful. This guy can deal a ton of damage at once, but uh, he's he's very easy to defeat as well. But at the same time, you know, there's a lot going on here. Oh, just die! Thank you. He didn't even have any medkits. Easy dubs. So that was Larry. Larry's very solid. Very very good character. At the end of the day, very fast. Uh, very versatile as well. You can do a lot of things with Larry. So GG's on that. Now let's get to the next uh, invisible character in the game, and that is uh, Elaine. Let's take a look here. Why is everyone 2D? Okay, not anymore. There. I mean, Elaine. Elaine is cool. Should we change the skin? We actually have no reason to change the skin. Just saying. Let's battle. Okay, we're loading in. Let's do this now. So, legendary guard. You already know what it is. You know how it happens. We're gonna defeat him. It's the cannon event happens to the best of us every single time. There's no going around it. The legendary guard gets defeated. I don't know a single match where the legendary guard actually gets to win. And if that happens, then someone did something. That's for sure. It is what it is. All right, let's go grab another uh, weapon here, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Yes, thank you very much. Let's get out of here. So, uh, we don't have happy treats at the moment, but what's comforting to know is that we do have the cell defibrillator. So, if we just so happen to die, well, we won't. A cell defibrillator in real life would be pretty good, though. You know? like, just, that would be very, very awesome. And that guy got absolutely crushed, might I mention. All right, so the deal is with uh, Elaine, when it comes to the invisibility, you do this. And you're invisible, alright? 
you still press a button in order to be invisible, but you have to drag the button in order to be Actually, no, you can just press the button and it automatically jumps and then you're invisible for a little while. But not as long as Larry, though. It's not the same thing. Alright, Larry, you have uh, the invisibility right there and you can just kind of sneak up with this, sneak up to someone and you can actually surprise them. But with uh, Elaine, the enemies probably already know, already probably gonna know that you're there, even if uh, you get the invisibility. So I'm not sure if it's that good. But hey. Look at that. You get out of a bush and you're invisible as well. That's her second ability. Right there. You can do that. And that works. But everyone saw you jump from bush to bush, so it doesn't really count. Uh, invisibility in this game. The, the game is just so chaotic. Sometimes invisibility doesn't really count. But of course, it is very much helpful. I can't believe this stuff right now. That is so obnoxious! Die! Come on. Go over for you. You're dead. You're done. Oh my god. Why does this why does it have to be this way? No <gasps> no 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 actually if you die it's gonna be fine. Just pointing it out there. Oh! Yes! No! I mean I mean yes! I mean no! Why? Okay, okay, I'm pretty sure we get a shield, so we're good. Let's go get redemption. Easy! Alright, give me this as well. You can't really go poison though, that's a shame. Okay, we have two med kits. I'm pretty sure we're good, unless a level 19 player shows up. That could maybe happen. I mean, I wouldn't want that to happen. Who knows? Whoa! That was that was the walls, dude. My goodness, he's in the walls. He's in the walls. All right, give me this, because we're all desperately looking for medkits. Oh, if only you could buy them with gems. I wonder when they're gonna do that. Never, because I haven't heard of that feature in a really long time. And yes, my game is updated. I don't know. Are you ever gonna be able to buy medkits in this game? Ever? Because I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably a bad thing. Okay, okay, chill out. Yes, that was good. And now you two fight each other. Easy. Oh, we got him. We jump on him. <laughs> we jumped him. We jumped. Where, where are you? Oh, okay. Well, everyone's just kind of random. I have to say, everyone's level 11, level 12, and we're just level 15 and ready to defeat everyone. Okay. The invisibility in the bush is so useless, I swear. Why would you want to have that? There's no reason behind it. But it's kind of cool. It's an extra. It's like having a cool skin, you know? Oh, we have the cooldown decrease. Now we're insane. Now we're, we got insane Super Saiyan mode. That's simple as that. Look at that. We can recharge our weapons really, really fast. And we can fire like a madman and check the bushes and do a lot of different things. Oh my god, we almost died for a second, but not anymore, because we're just that good. Alright, give me this, this. Whoa, level 9 mix. Who would have uh, thought? Alright, you, uh, you, just, yeah, you just go away. It's simple concept. 13 kills is a lot of kills though, my god. I, for a second I didn't notice that. That's a lot of kills. Okay, that was cool. And now it's time for Dona as well, because Dona is also great. I did play Dona today, she's a lot of fun, he's awesome. Let's change the skin though, because... No, you do get extra points for uh, playing the Dragon Dona in the Sea of Flames event, but I like Ice Dragon Dona more, and uh, that's kind of intimidating. Let's select, and let's play one of the coolest characters ever. Let's go. You know, I played Dona today, won the match, very simple stuff. You know, shouldn't be that difficult. Now, come on. We got this. Let's go get the legendary, yeah, legendary guard, 100%. Yeah, definitely, sure, sure thing, buddy, sure thing, 100%. Just, uh, just, just happens to the best of us. Didn't even get a chance to get the legendary guard, okay. Uh, what I really want to do is just point out the invisibility for Dona, because that does exist. But uh, we gotta get to a body of water first, but these enemies are just so tempting to defeat. My goodness, and at the start of the match, you just gotta... You just gotta use the wake up coffee to your advantage, man. You gotta do it to him. And if you stand still in the water, what are you doing? <laughs> that was brutal. That was like a choke slam or something. Okay, let's go grab this, this, and let's uh let's bite the enemy. Whoa, level 18 Kaylee is a very high level Kaylee, my goodness. Okay, gotta be careful on that, but I think we're gonna be fine because we're also level 18, not to mention. Alright, I thought Kaylee was the best character ever. Looks like she isn't. Looks like she's mid. Can you believe that? Kaylee is mid. Never thought I'd say that. Wow! That's uh that's another Dona! Hello! That's cool. Your name is Game Over, that's a nice name. But you know what's a nicer name? Your name on a tombstone. Exactly. Whoa! That's a lot of damage, my guy. So we're all good now. 
Do we have happy treats? Please tell me we have happy treats. We, do, we don't have happy treats. Why does it have to be this way? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit in here and just chill out. Camouflage into our surroundings. No! Why do we have the little effect there? Okay, 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 fine. Don't worry about it. It's gonna go away. It's gonna go away. One day. Holy sandals is a great item. But it's not very practical. Alright, fine. Now we're good. So theoretically speaking, there's absolutely nothing that could happen to us at the moment. No one could see us. Look at that, we're camouflaging into the water. But uh, the problem with Dona is her visibility is not that great. Okay, she's a really, really good character, but the invisibility is just not it. Because Why? Whoa! That was a Larry inside the water right there, right next to us, and he didn't see us. That was uh, remarkable, to say the least. Alright, so uh, I guess the invisibility thing for Dona does work. I guess if you just stand there in the bush and chill, it'll work out eventually, but it's just kind of boring, you know? But luckily, someone showed up there, because if someone wouldn't have showed up, we would have gotten out of there. You, you know how it works. You just sit around, wait for someone, they uh, eventually come, and then you just defeat them. Simple. As simple as that. This is so This is so freaky. I mean, look look at that. The little arms there. Little chibi arms. That's, uh, that's one person you should be afraid of. Oh boy. Alright, come here. You have no choice. Oh no. Oh no, we're getting hit by a bow from a Twitter bird. Oh no. My existence is now really sad because of that. Ouch. Alright, come on. Why did you just walk into that? You're clueless. I swear you're so clueless. Okay, okay, if this guy's just gonna take his time, we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna match his energy, we're gonna get some good weapons, and then we're gonna come back stronger and better and cooler than ever. Alright. Anyone there? Oh, they're just fighting up there. Hold on, I'm just gonna so wait until someone dies. What did I even say there? And then it's gonna be all good. My guy is gonna try to get to safety, and safety is, uh, Dona. <laughs> That's safety! Easy! So in conclusion, all three characters are good. That's as simple as that. All three uh, invisibility characters are good. But if I were to choose one at the end of the day, I think it's gonna be Elaine. I feel like Elaine is just the best character out of the three. I mean, she can jump on enemies and she's also invisible. And uh, you could be invisible for a pretty long time if you use the active and then you go in the bush and you become invisible once again. You're just gonna be invisible for a longer period of time, in my opinion. So Elaine, just better character overall. Elaine won this. A comment down below who your favorite invisible character is and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, have a good day, bye.